subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Good morning students. Today I am going to explain some important neat numerical based questions from the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. See here first question. A brassica flower has six stamens out of which one third are removed. The total number of the main gametes produced from that flower if each lobe of its dithecus anchor contains 24 pollen mother cells is okay brassica this plant is belongs to the brassicaceae family this brassica flowers first of all it contains total six stamens that is arranged Two plus four. Total the six stamens are present in brassica flowers. So in six stamens, out of which one third, that is out of six, one by third are removed. And remind how many stamens are present in that brassica? Two stamens. In that two stamens, the total number of male gametes are produced from that flower if each lobe of its dithecus anchor contains 24 pollen mother cells is male gametes you know each pollen grains contain two male gametes here 24 pollen mother cells in each lobe of its dithecus anchor General here, dithecus anchor that is a tetrasporangiate anchor. How many sporangia are present? Total four sporangia are present. See here answer four into what is here for sporangias? Tetrasporangiate. Dithecus anchor is a tetrasporangiate and the monothecus anchor is a bisporangiate. Each lobe contains uh, two macrosporangiums in dithecus. How many lobes are there? Here, two lobes. That's why right here, four macrosporangium. Okay, 24 mother cells. See here, 24. Pollen mother cells PMC Pollen mother cells Okay 4 into 24 pollen mother cells See into Each pollen mother cells How many Pollen grains given? 4 Each pollen mother cells undergoes meiotic cell division to produce the four pollen grains or four microspores four into see. each pollen grains contain how many male gametes two male gametes two next out of six stamens how many is removed here four one by two means out of six uh, so 4 is removed and 2 is uh, 2. Clear? See here. 4 microsporangiums, that is uh, tetrasporangium. Total each lobe contain how many pollen mother cells? 24 pollen mother cells. Each pollen mother cells gives rise to the 4 microspores. Each Microspore means that is nothing but pollen grains. Each pollen grains contain how many main gametes? Two main gametes. The generative cell is mitotically divided into gives rise to the two main gametes. Next one. 
total stamens are anchored to each flower here this is the correct answer calculate this one 4 into 24 into 4 into 2 into 2 that is a total Five hundred three six. This is four into twenty four into four into two into two. That is a thousand five hundred thirty six. Okay. See here in any competitive entrance examination, don't go directly through the options. First, you see the question and you decided the, you have to decide first the correct answer and then go for the options see see in this options first option 1536 1600 1200 1236 now which option is correct first one that is a thousand five hundred thirty six. So that's why here that is a correct option first one. Okay, next one. Go to the go to the another question. See here. If the excel of an angiosperm plant has 20 chromosomes, the number of chromosomes present in 10. 10 means primary endosperm nucleus, leaf cell, megaspore mother cell, and the synergial cells respectively are. See in this one, the excel is a Aploid. What is the ploidy of egg cell? Aploid. The aploid cell contains how many chromosomes? 20 chromosomes. M is equal to 20 chromosomes. The number of chromosomes are present in pen, leaf cell, metaspore, mother cell, and the synergic cell respectively. See here, pen. It is a triple fusion product. What is the ploidy primary endosperm nucleus? 3N. Okay, that is 3 into N. 20 chromosomes. That is total 60. What about leaf cell? 2N. Okay, 2 into N, 20. What about megaspore mother cell? M M C two N. It is also same forty. And the last one, synergic cells. N. It is a haploid. Haploid. Is the correct answer. Okay, the egg cell is a haploid, primary endosperm nucleus triploid, leaf cell is a diploid, megaspore mother cell is diploid, synergic cell is a haploid. See now options. See in first option 30, 40, 20, 10, 60, 30, 20, 20. Third one, 60, 40, 40, 20. Fourth one, 40, 20, 10, 10. Which option is correct? 60, 40, 40, 20. See here. Third option is correct. 
60, 40, 40, 20. So that is uh, here the respective chromosomes are present in primary endosperm nucleus, leaf cell, Nagaspor mother cell, and the synergic cells. Okay, next one. Question number three, the number of mitotic divisions needed for the formation of 20 main gametes in angiosperm, angiosperm from the first cell of the gametophytic generation is first cell of the gametophytic generation. The number of mitotic divisions is needed for the formation of 200 main Gametes. Here one simple formula is that the number of the number of male gametes equal to the number of mitotic divisions why is the number of male gametes are equivalent to the number of mitotic divisions see here this is the structure of the following right the single nucleus undergoes first mitotic division and to form two unequal cells what are the unequal cells? First one is the vegetative cell, second one is the generative cell. This is the first mitotic division. In second mitotic division, see, the second mitotic division is takes place in generative cell and that is gives rise to the total two main gametes. This is a three cell stage. The three cell stage of the pollen grains total how many mitotic divisions are takes place? Two. In three cell stage of pollen grains, how many main gametes are there? Two main gametes. That's why the mitotic division, the number of mitotic division is equal to the number of main gametes. See here. Total number of male gametes. How many is there? 200 male gametes. What is the correct answer? The number of mitotic division also 200. See. The number of male gametes? 200. The number of male gametes is equivalent to the number of mitotic divisions. The number of mitotic division also 200. That is the correct answer. Next one. The ratio of pollen mother cells and the production of male gametes is the ratio of pollen mother cells and the production of male gametes. See here first one. It is first one pollen mother cell. The one pollen mother cells undergoes meiotic division one pollen mother cells undergoes meiotic cell division to form the microspore tetrod total how many microspores? four microspores here this is four you know, in each pollen grains contain how many, how many
how many male gametes two male gametes two 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 these are the microscopes same product microscope petrol each microspores that is uh, the microspore is uh, the first cell of the male gametophyte that is nothing but pollen grains total how many 2 eight eight male gametes now tell what is the ratio that is 1 is to 8 one pollen mother cells gives rise to the four pollen grains each pollen grain contain how many male gametes two male gametes okay see here options which option is correct three one is to eight is a correct option okay nice See next question. Five. In Datura, if each antelope contains eighty pollen grains, find out the total number of pollen mother cells formed in a flower. Datura plant. Datura plants. It is belongs to the Solanaceae. See, it is also tetrasporangiate. The thickest anther. In Datura, if each anther lobe, each anther lobe, the thickest anther, each anther lobe, how many, how many pollen grains are there? Eighty pollen grains are there. Okay. Eighteen pollen grains are given by the how many pollen mother cells? See, eighty divided by the four. Uh, total how many pollen grains? See here, that is uh, twenty pollen mother cell and the no. One antelope. It is a dicotomous anther. How many antelopes are present? Two. That's why. One anther is contained forty pollen mother cells. Forty. One antelope. It is forty pm cells. Anther. See. Find out the total number of pollen mother cells from the male flower. It is forty pmc. Forty pollen mother cells. See here, forty more pollen mother cells. In each flower contain how many stamens? Into five. Five stamens. Forty pollen mother cells into. Forty pollen mother cells into five stamens. What is the correct answer? That is forty into five total two hundred. See. That's why total how many pollen mother cells is uh, formed in a flower? Two hundred pollen mother cells is formed in a single flower of the flower. What is the correct option? Four one two hundred. Clear? The tura is the dicotomous anther. Each anther contains the eighty pollen grains. The eighty pollen grains are given by the twenty pollen mother cells. It is only one anther lobe. 
this diabetic stand even under and the lobe also 20 20 plus 20 40 pollen mother cells that is one anther total how many anther is present in the single flower of the datura five five stamens that is five anthers 40 into 5 that is total 200 next one Question number 6. The number of chromosomes involving during the double fertilization process in mice is The number of chromosomes involved during a double fertilization process in a mice. It is very important in double fertilization total how many nucleus are involved in fusion? 5. Excel, 2 male gametes, 2 polar nuclei. Okay, these are the involved in a double fertilization. Singami. Singami plus. Excel male gametes these are all haploid this fusion is known as the syngamy ok next one another male gamete Another male gamete is fusion with from secondary nucleus. Second nucleus is a 2 n diploid. Male gamete is haploid. See. In mice, diploid, how many chromosomes are there? 20. Here, haploid number 10. 10, 20. And here, here 20, here 10. So that's why here 30, 10, 10, 10, 30 plus 20 total, 50 chromosomes. So this is known as the triple fusion. Triple fusion single. Total, how many haploid nucleus? Total 5 haploid nucleus is there. Two polar nuclei here in secondary nucleus. Each polar nuclei is also happened. Two, one, one, one. Total five nucleus. Each nucleus is haploid condition. Five nucleus are involved in double fertilization in mice. That's why total chromosome number 50. See here. See correct options 30, 10, 20, 50. Which option is correct? 50. Okay, next one. See another question. The number of mitotic divisions that occurs inside the pollen tube during the development of male gametophyte from a Two cell pollen types. The number of mitotic divisions that occurs inside the pollen tube during the development of male gametophyte from a two cell stage of the pollen types. Two cell stage. What is the two cell stage? First, the pollen line undergo the unequal mitotic cell division as a result. That is used as to be two cells. One is vegetative cell, another one is the vegetative cell and the generative cell. Total how many cell states? Two cell states. 
in two such states following way. Total number of mitotic divisions. How many mitotic divisions is expressed here? Only one. One mitotic division. What about three cell states of polynomials? Two. That is one vegetative cell, two male gametes are developed from the generative cell. Okay? Right. See correct options. Third one. One. Okay, so this is the correct option. Let's go for the another question. How many reduction divisions are required for the production of? 200 jagos in angiosperms. 200 jagos in angiosperms. See here, the jagos is the, the fertilization product. See, for the formation of 200 jagos, how many egg cells are required? 200. After fertilization, that is fusion of male and female gametes. Excel is a female gamete. The fusion of male and female gametes is known as the syngamy, as a result of syngamy, which product is developed a diploid jagot. See, for the formation of one jagot, how many excels is required? One excel. For the formation of one egg cell, how many embryo sac is required? One embryo sac. Each embryo sac is contained one egg cell. For the formation of one embryo sac, how many metaspore mother cell, metaspore is required? One metaspore, functional metaspore is required. See here, one pollen mother cell, it undergoes one Neotic cell division gives rise to the how many megaspores? Four megaspores. In out of four, three megaspores are degenerated. One is functional megaspore. This functional megaspore is developed into the embryo sac. Each embryo sac contains one egg cell. See, for the formation of one egg cell, how many meiotic cell divisions are required? Only one meiotic cell division. Meiotic cell division means reduction division. Meiosis cell division, another name, reduction division. Equational division, that is mitosis. See here. That's why 200. Reduction divisions. 200 reduction divisions are required for the formation of 200 egg cells. Next one. Main gametes also required. Main gametes are present in wet polygrades. How many polygrades are required here? 200. Polygrains. 200 polygrains are required. Uh, 200 polygrains. 200 polygrains is divided by 4. That is equal to the number of reductional divisions. How many here? 200 divided by 4. 50 reductional divisions. The 50 reductional divisions here, 200 total. Two fifty. Total 250 reductional divisions is required for the formation of 200 jagos in angiosperm. Now see options. First option 245. 
second one 250 third one 75 fourth one 100 which option is correct second one okay that is the correct answer let's go for the another question A flower of ibiscus has 40 stamens. Each microsporangium has 25 microspore mother cells. Each corpus has 15 ovaries. How many reductional divisions can occur in total in a flower? How many reductional divisions? That is meiosis cell divisions. See. A flower of hibiscus has 40 stamens. Here, hibiscus is monotheus. Only one anthelope is there. That is known as the bisporangia. How many sporangia is there? Two microsporangia is present in, in each stamens. Each microsporangium has 25 microspore mother cells. 20 Five microspore mother cell that is also called pollen mother cell. 25 pollen mother cells. This each microspore has 25 microspore mother cell. What about one anther? Two. This is a bisporangia. Total. Fifty pollen mother cells is present in one stem. One flower is contained total how many stamens? Forty. Fifty into forty. Total fifty into forty. That is two thousand pollen mother cells. Total 2000 pollen mother cells are present. Here it is very important the number of the number of pollen mother cells is equivalent to the number of meiotic cell regions. How many pollen mother cells here? Total 2000 pollen mother cells. That's why how many the meiosis cell division is takes place? 2000 meiosis cell divisions are takes place. The number of pollen mother cells is equal to the number of meiotic cell divisions. That's why here total 2000 reductional divisions are takes place in anther. Next one. Corpel. Each corpel has 15 ovaries. Here also it is very important. Hibiscus is a pentaloculus, pentacorpulum. Total 5 corpels are there in single flower. Each corpel how many ovaries? 15 ovaries. The number of ovaries is equivalent also the number of meiotic cell divisions. Total of how many corpels are there? 5 corpels, pentacorpulary, 5 into 15. 5 into 15, total 75. 75 meiotic divisions is required in each corpel. What about here? Pollen mother cells? 2000. 2000 plus 75 that is 2075. See here correct options. First one 55, second one 220, third one 2075, fourth one 
3 upon b, which option is correct? Third option. See, 2075. Next one. See another question. The number of polling rates that can be produced from the united set of the statements of one flower of dolichus having 10 microspore mother cells in each microsporangium. Dolichus labla. This plant is belongs to the Fabaceae. You know, in Fabaceae, that is the statements. 9 plus 1. 9 stamens are united. 1 stamen is free. Total 10 stamens are present in Fabaceae family. To take any Fabaceae family members, each flower is contained 10 stamens that is united. 9 is united that is 1 one in and the single stamen is another one. That is 9 plus 1. Here, united set of the stamens of one flower of the dolichus. Here, only you can set 9 only, not 10. That is. The united set of the stamens of one flower of dolichus having 10 microspore mother cells in each microsporangium. Even here, the dolichus is also dithicus anther. Dithicus anther, how many sporangiums are present? Four. Tetrasporangium, four. Into four is here, sporangia. Each microsporangium is contained how many microspore mother cells? Ten. It is a PMC. 10 pollen mother cells. Each pollen mother cells, how many pollen grains are there? That is 4. See. 4 pollen grains. Total here, the 4 microsporangiums, 10 pollen mother cells into 4. Each pollen mother cell gives rise to the total four pollen grains into C here. How many stamens? United set of the stamens of one flower. What is united stamens here? Nine. C here. This is the answer. Ten into four into ten into four into nine. This is question number ten. Product 1440. See here. Third option is correct. 1440. First option 1500, 360. Second option 41720. Third option is correct. Next one. The total number of meiocytes present in each pollen mother cells of brassica. If the flower produces 1920 main gametes. 1920 main gametes. The total number of meiocytes present. Meiocytes. Meiocytes deployed. That is a mother cells, spore mother cells. The spore mother cells is also known as the meiocytes. Where the meiosis cell division is takes place, such type of the cells are known as the meiocytes. Brassica. In brassica total, how many stamens are present? Total six. That is a two plus four. 
six stamens are present in, in each flower of the brassica. Now see here, 1920 main gametes. Okay. Total each pollen grains, how many main gametes are present? Two main gametes. Two main gametes. See here, two main gametes. Next one. One pollen mother cell seed gives rise to the how many pollen grains? Four. Next one. Basket is a dietica center. Each anther is contained of how many microsporangiums? Four microsporangiums. Next one. Six. How many stamens are present? Six. See here. The total number of the neocytes are present in each pollen chamber of brassica. If the flowers are produced 1920 main gametes, this is total is equal to 1920 divided by 2 divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 6. That value is uh, finally 10. See here. First option 10, second option 20, third option 455, and fourth one 24. Which option is correct? 10. What is here? Total number of male gametes. Total, how many male gametes are present in one pollen grain? Two. What is this for? Pollen mother cell. This one, total number of microsporangiums. This one, total number of stamens. That is the total final answer. Then. See another question. What is the maximum number of meiotic dividends that occurs in a brassica flower with uh, 60 mobiles in the ovary producing 10 pollen mother cells in each microsporangium? What is the maximum number of meiotic dividends? Okay, here total how many ovules are there? 60 ovules. The number of ovules also equal to the number of meiotic cells. That's why right here 60 meiotic dividends. Sixty ovules, sixty meiotic divisions are takes place because each embryo sac is developed from one functional megaspore. One functional megaspore is developed from one. Megaspore mother cell. One megaspore mother cell is developed from single ovule. That's why here 60 ovules. In the 60 ovules, how many the meiotic divisions are takes place? 60 meiotic divisions. See next one. 10 pollen mother cells in each microsporangium. Each microsporangium. Brassica is also that is a Dietica's anther, that is a tetrasporangium. Each anther is a tetrasporangium. Four macrosporangiums. In four microsporangiums, each microsporangium is contained how many pollen mother cells? Ten. Ten PMC. Four into ten PMC. Ten pollen mother cells. See, ten pollen mother cells. Next one. How many stamens are present in a one flower of the brassica? Six. Six stamens. Or and. So here, four into ten into six. What is the value? Two forty. See here, total number of reduction of divisions, 240 plus 60, 300. 
total 300 reduction dividends or meiotic dividend season takes place in brassica flowers with 60 ovules in the ovary, 10 pollen mother cells in each macros branch. See. Fourth option 300. Fourth option is third. Next one. In the embryo sac of the varisa, just before the fertilization, it has two main gametes, one synoptic cell, one secondary nucleus, and three antipodals. What will be the total number of the chromosomes in it? See here, the varisa sativa, it is the scientific name of the rice plant. Total number of chromosomes in rice plant 2n, total number of chromosomes 24. The diploid chromosome number 24. See. Just before the fertilization has two main gametes. The main gametes haploid. Male gametes haploid. One synoptic cell, it is also haploid. Here. One secondary nucleus. See here the secondary nucleus 2n diploid because it is the fusion of two polar nuclei and three antipodals. See, the two main gametes and one synoptic cell and one secondary nucleus and the three antipodals. In two main gametes, here diploid number in varisa sativa 24, the two main gametes haploid, each haploid chromosome 1. Total of how many haploid nucleus are there? Two. 2 plus 1 plus 2, 2 polar nuclei plus 3. 3, 5, 8. Total 8 haploid nucleus. What is the haploid chromosome number in rice plant? 12. 8 into 12. See here. 8 into 12 that is total 96. The correct answer is 96. See now see four options. First option 96, second one 108, third one 120, and fourth one 84. So which option is correct? First option. So this is. Next one. See here, the total number of paternal and maternal genomes that are involved in double fertilization respectively. Genomes means here applied set of the nucleus. The total number of paternal and maternal genomes that are involved in double fertilization. See here, for example, it is the embryo stack. In embryo sac, this is the egg cell. Okay, here secondary 
न्यूक्लियस सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस सेकेंडरी फॉर्मिंग पोलार न्यूक्लियस टू पोलार न्यूक्लियस दैट इज टोटल फॉर्मिंग ऑफ लार्ज सेट्स आर देयर एक सेल वन सेकेंडरी न्यूक्लियस टू टोटल थ्री जीनोम्स जीनोम मींस एप्लॉयड सेट ऑफ टी क्रोमोसोम्स नेक्स्ट वन the pollen tube is enter into the the structure of the embryo cell see the pollen tube is carrying how many gametes too many gametes each male gametes are haploid that's why it here two two sets of the genome here three sets of the genome this is a maternal this is the pattern what is the here the total number 2 3 2 the total number of the paternal and maternal genomes that are involved in double fertilization respectively are 2 3 see here first option 2 3 second option 2 1 Third option three two and fourth one two five. Which option is correct? First option is the correct. Next one. <coughs> See here. In allium plant, allium sativum, allium sefer, these are the onion and garlic sulfate names. Here, allium plant is belongs to the lilaceae family. You know that the lilaceae family total how many stamens are present? Six stamens. That is arrangement three plus three. Total six. See here. The total number of flowers are twenty. Total how many flowers are there? Here twenty. The number of pollen mother cells for each macrosporangium is five. Okay. Here also anther, diticus, and tetrasporangium. Next one. Half of the flowers, outermost ring, the stamens are completely removed. In out of Six three is removed. In another half of the flowers, inner rings stamens are removed. That is totally equal to ten flowers. Because twenty flowers are there, in each flowers three stamens are removed. That's why the twenty flowers that is here equal to the ten flowers. Each flowers contain here how many stamens? Six stamens. That is ten. Here, ten flowers. Ten. But here, twenty given. Half of the stamens are removed from the each flower. That's why the total number of the flowers here ten. Yes. Each flowers is contain total how many microsporangiums? See how many microsporangiums? Tetrasporangium four. Next one. Each microsporangium is contain how many microspore mother cells or pollen mother cells? See five. The pollen mother cells are five is present in each microsporangium. That is five. Each pollen mother cell. Yes, pollen mother cell gives rise to how many pollen grains? Four pollen grains. That is four. Okay, here total ten flowers, four microsporangium in each stamens or anther. Next one here five, five is a pollen mother cell. So here the four pollen mother cells, each pollen mother cells, so that is uh, gives rise to the four pollen grains, and the total number of pollen mother cells in each microsporangium here five. Next one, see. So next one, the correct answer. 
टेन इंटू फोर इंटू ओके टोटल नंबर ऑफ सेवेंट सिक्स टेन इंटू फोर इंटू फाइव इंटू फोर इंटू सिक्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड फोर थाउजेंड सॉरी फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड फर्स्ट ऑप्शन थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सेकेंड ऑप्शन फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड थर्ड ऑप्शन फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड इच वन इज करेक्ट फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सी द टोटल केयर द टोटल नंबर ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग नेम्स आर प्रोड्यूस बाय द प्लान फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड हंड्रेड सी टेन प्लस इंटू फोर माइक्रोस प्रांजिक इंटू फाइव पॉलिंग मदर सेल्स इच पॉलिंग मदर सेल्स फोर पॉलिंग ग्रेन्स एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ सेमेंट्स फ्रॉम सिंगल फ्लावर सिक्स ओके दिस इज दैट इज फोर थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सो दिस आर द सम न्यूमरिकल बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स ओके स्टूडेंट्स बाय